Okay, so now that our landscape is ready, let's go ahead, put this landscape out into our actual scene file and see exactly how this is going. So to do this, I'll go ahead, select the landscape mesh we have, and I want to delete all the history. Basically, that means all these soft mod handles, all the displacement history which it has, every single thing. So to do that, I'll right click in an empty region, select all, I'll go to edit, delete all by type, history. So because as you can see, all the soft mode operators are now gone. I'll also go ahead, delete all the unnecessary nodes which are present within this file. And also as you can, as you remember, the landscape uh, object itself has to be within the object group. If it's not, it's not going to be used as a match move object, it'll just stay at the grid. So I'll put this within the group itself. Once all these things are done, I am ready to save this as my reference file. If I go to file, save scene as, you can see that I have my original reference file as it is, whereas I've gone ahead and created several iterations of the same file. So these are different steps I've taken for every single step of creating the landscape. Now, anytime I want to update the final reference file, I just had to go ahead and replace this file with the version I want. So this makes the whole thing about creating different versions a lot easier. So I'll just go ahead and replace this file with a new one. So that gets saved. Now I can go ahead, open scene. I'll go ahead, open my actual final scene file. As I open this, you can see there's a lot of mesh. I'll go ahead, remove the wireframe on the object and I'll go ahead to my actual shot camera. As you can see, my landscape has actually come in. So now let me go ahead, open up the time slider. So now going back and hitting play, you can see the landscape actually matches pretty good. Uh, the edges uh, still have to be edited because I've not at made it look like a cylinder. I will in a while. Uh, the inside portion, all the markers are now hidden. So the, those are no longer giving any issues. You can't really see them as you go towards the edge of the footage. Uh, so this is pretty neat. We have got this. So next step, what I want to do is go ahead and start adding in the ocean itself. So let's go ahead and start working with that.